Hi guys, let's see some more examples to convert nest lists to pandas data frame. Let's import pandas and requests. And let's retrieve some data. So we're working with this, uh, with this object here. Let's check it. It's a list. We want to transform this uh, list into a pandas data frame. So let's let's do it with uh, JSON underscore normalize. And as you can see here, we have our pandas data frame. We have done this in the previous video. So from now on, I'm going to mess with this L object. So now, for example, in this L2, I'm adding longitude and latitude here. We check the object. Is it still a list? And now, as you can see, when we do, uh, we set max underscore level equal one, we have this location dot coordinates, and we have the data in this way. So what we have to do, in this case, let's add a new level of normalization. So max underscore level equal to. And as you can see now, we have split uh, the data. So we have location dot coordinates longitude, location dot coordinates latitude. So in this example here, I'm adding this type with this curly brackets type one point type two line. Okay, naturally I added this for all the object. Let's normalize again. And it worked. But now let's nest in type type one. So we have type, type one, and so on. As I said, I'm really messed up with this L object. Now If we run max level equal to, the information for location type type one is returning as a dictionary here. What we have to do, we have to add another level of normalization. And as you can see now, we have location dot type dot type one dot type L. This was line, this was dot type P point. Okay, now I am modifying this source here. So I added this source and this other information, okay? And as you can see, we have our pandas data frame. So now I'm going to show you that we can just allow pandas to figure out. In fact, here I'm just passing the list L3, L4, and L5, the one that we modified. And as you can see, it's retarding the data frame. But now let me show you the next example. 
I took this data from the official uh, documentation for pandas for uh, JSON underscore normalize. So we have some data with the state Florida, with the short name of Florida. Then we have info of the governor and the name. And then we have the counties and not here that we have another square bracket. So we have a square bracket here that close here. And then we have another one here for counties. Okay. So in counties, we have the name with the population. Now, if we allow pandas to figure out, we have the data in this format. So basically, what we have to do. We have to assign these counties to the res corresponding governor. So basically, this Rick Scott is the governor of Dade, Broward, and Palm Beach. And John Kasich is the governor of Summit and Cayuga. So we have to distribute these counties to the corresponding governor. So how we can do that? We add record path. And meta so we record path basically we add counties the path from counties here that has to be normalized and add the information that we want to add to the data set and in this case info and governor we write in square brackets like this this info we write like this And as you can see, we have distributed the name of the county to the governor. So we have date, Broward, Palm Beach, and the population with Rick Scott, and Summit, and Cayuga with John Kasich. Now, uh, let's continue with the previous data. So uh, I'm adding this square bracket in location now. This was L5, so the previous one. And, and this is the data frame that is returned. And now with L6, as you can see, location, we have the data like this. So here, what we do, we set record path for location. As you can see, everything that is in location is returned. So we have longitude, latitude, and then we have type, type 1, type L. We go to check the data. We have location, we have the coordinates, we have type, and type 1, and type L. Coordinates, longitude, latitude, type, type 1, type L, and the info. But we don't have the rest of the data. So what do we do? We use meta equal what we want. That's an earthquake ID. Now, as you can see, we have the same data frame as before, but now we have depth and earthquake ID. Let's add the source. Now for source, the data is returning like this. We have source here, source, so let's add source and source in square brackets. And now as you can see, we have source.source, .source, and we have here, this is uh, the data as a dictionary. So now, from now on, I would adjust manually. Let me show you how I would adjust this. First of all, let's check the kind of data. 
I told you it's a dictionary. And for example, we can retrieve the info for S1. Now, how we can adjust the first method that I would use it's just to loop uh, over S1 and S2. So we use a for loop to generate S1 and S2. First of all, we generate S1 and S2 as an empty list. Then we use the for loop to extract uh, the information for S1 and S2 from the data frame and append to this S1 and S2 object. Now that we have S1 and S2, we can add back to the data frame. So now as you can see, we have S1 and S2, and we can drop this column here. The second method uh, by the way here if you don't want the data in uh, in brackets yeah basically this is as a list we can just use uh, dot str dot get to basically to unlist okay. all this data now we have is a float the second method that I was talking about was is just consist in generate two data frames with one common ID and merge the two data frame so let's do this we use earthquake ID because it then identify the our data set. So let's generate the first uh, uh, data frame here. So we use uh, JSON underscore normalize with the LS uh, L6 object, record path location, and we take only earthquake ID. Now, if we, we just take ls eh, sorry l6 you see source is returning as we want it but no location and now here the, we have the info for location in uh, res1 so what do we do we merge res1 and res2 by using the id earthquake id We put all the info together and now for example we could drop location but it's so guys that's it i hope the video is useful see you in the next video